Welcome to Hard Chat. I'm joined by former ABC presenter Yasmin Abdel McGee. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Tom. Let's chat. Hard! <laughs> now, you got in trouble for your Less We Forget post on Anzac Day, but then you had another crack on Remembrance Day. Was that just attention seeking? <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I kind of missed. Um... I missed all the death threats, you know? It really it gives you a sense of importance. Do you think that every Anzac Day we should have a minute's silence for your career? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think that would be a little bit disrespectful um, to, the, to the diggers. Yeah. OK. Do you think that maybe on Anzac Day you should start a hashtag lest we forget to write stupid shit on Facebook? <laughs> I think I should do that next year, actually. You could march at Anzac Day, really, really get things going. <laughs> I think I'll get a camera. I'll be like, hey, boys, how's it going? Go to the War Memorial. Yep. Look who's back. No one will notice me, though. Why not? You look like a tourist. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever feel bad about wearing a hat indoors? Look, you don't know that the UV rays aren't coming in. Oh, no, I know. Mm. When you're in London, do you ever hang out with Rolf Harris so you're not the most hated Australian in the room? <laughs> Rolf and I go to the pub quite regularly. The walkabout together. pub. The walkabout pub. He's well. there with his wobble board. <laughs> We're quite the hit. You said Australia was like dating an abusive guy. What are you doing here? You should leave. Yeah, I mean, I've been told to leave a number of times, um, but we, we know how hard it is to leave and sometimes you're like, you know, maybe they didn't mean it and you come back and then you're like, oh, yeah, they're actually dicks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that should help this go viral. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote a memoir at the age of 24. Do you feel like it might be about 15 chapters too short now? Yeah, look, I'm going to write a second edition. Um, or a third. What's it called? The Year of Hate. <laughs> Yasmin's Story 2.0, When It All Went to Shit, or Yasmin's Story 2.0, The Cluster f Channel 10 <laughs> gave Sophie Monk a new reality show called The Bachelorette after she did Hard Chat. Do you think Channel 10 might give you a new reality show called Yasmin's Getting Married? <laughs> <laughs> it could be sponsored by the Australian newspaper. <laughs> Actually, they'd call it Yasmin's getting martyred, probably. I mean, it'd be, I'd be really curious as to who the candidates would be, because I, I do like racists. Like, it's a bit of a... You weird could get fetish. the Reclaim Australia mob on, yeah. choose one of them. Mm, I like say, the I'll have the one in the cape. Oh, they've all got capes on. Some person neck tattoos, it really does it for me. Sorry, I forgot to ask. Uh, would you like an Anzac? <laughs> yeah, hello. Um, are they really, though? Oh, Paul, I, don't, I don't know. Pauline Hanson would be pretty upset about that. Well, I, I pointed them toward Mecca before I killed them, so they're probably... <laughs> <laughs> this <man>. yeah. <laughs>